Hello everyone, welcome to my first ever sketchbook tour. Here's one that I finished uh, about a month ago. I love putting stickers all over my sketchbook. I'll tag the makers here um, and these ones are my ones. I love filling my sketchbook with stickers and making it colourful. They also, the stickers also sometimes hide the little scrapes and scratches that pop up along the way. I can't remember what this sketchbook was called, but I got it from Muji. It's simple, the paper's cream, it's not like the best quality, um, but I don't mind. I love uh, drawing on paper that isn't that great necessarily, because if the paper is too high quality, the pressure is too high. Um, and for me, my sketchbook is kind of like a journal, a place where I can practice my visual language, I guess. I suppose um, what it looks like isn't important to me. It's more the process of drawing. That's why I love my sketchbook. Um, I can just scribble and be wild and experiment on things and not have to feel worried about what anyone else will think because my sketchbooks are private and I don't post them online very often so you're kind of lucky seeing this. This is uh, a little insight into what goes on in Sophie's little mind. Just lots of kind of fun little doodles. I do process a lot of my emotions through my sketchbook and a lot of the things that happen in my life. Whether they're good, bad or ugly, um, I know my sketchbook's my safe place um, to be able to look at those things that happen, look at those emotions and feelings. Um, and it's fun. I have fun processing them that way. For me, it's easy. I think everyone needs a safe place to go to process your life, your day, the last hour, the last minute. I don't think I really let myself do that in the past sketchbooks that I'd had over the years. So this sketchbook was kind of my experiment to myself to just let it go a little bit and get silly. Um, I take a lot of notes in my sketchbook as well. I do a bit of observation drawings. I get silly with my friends. We do silly pictures to each other. Um, sometimes I will reference the artwork of other artists I love and admire and sort of turn it into my own or figure out how I can do something with the same feeling but in my own way, in my own genuine way. Just a second ago you can see a page of notes that I made for myself for a workshop I did. Those were a handful of uh, little personal drawings. Here they are again. Um, that would be around the time that I started falling in love with someone. And so you can see how they act like journals or diaries. I feel like I can go back and look at any drawing and um, remember how I felt and where I was and what I was doing, what podcasts or films or music I was listening to. I could just live in my sketchbook. I want to make art all day long, but not necessarily finished art. I suppose I just want to run my pen around on paper every day. Uh, making art is saying to yourself, it's okay. I guess it's comforting. Um, and the process is what's comforting and nice to me. I'm not very articulate with my words. Um, so speaking about my sketchbooks and my sketchbook process and my thought processes to you right now is hard. It's not natural. 
I could maybe make a comic about it and it would make more sense. Um, but here you have my words. <laughs> They're a little bit lame. But anyway, I hope you're enjoying my drawings. One thing I do recommend is uh, going to life drawing. I guess because it's been COVID and lockdown and stuff, um, we haven't really been able to do life drawing um, in real life. But there are a few resources online, I can link them below, um, that I use. If I'm ever in a rut and I just kind of want to scribble, I will just put on some life drawing videos and um, just do some ridiculous scribbles. Um, I don't put any pressure on myself to make it look like the model or look like anything. It's just all about letting my hand go and let it scribble. Um, and I guess the model just gives it a little bit of a, uh, a base or a guide to start a shape. I've actually come up with tons of illustrations that way because you sort of force yourself to do something kind of force the magic I guess to come you have to allow that to come by being loose and silly um, but because of being loose and silly I've allowed the magic to shine through and some of the illustrations that I've come up with by doing that per that process has uh, resulted in some of my favorite illustrations I've ever done for me there's just no better feeling than uh, getting into bed, having a sketchbook, having a cup of tea, um, surrounded by textures and pens and my dog at my side and just drawing without anything in my mind or with everything in my mind. I just love the process of putting a pen to paper and seeing what happens it's just like so joyful and magical unless it's not like there are bad days of course and some days are really hard um, to draw but that's okay that happens I just will close my sketchbook and watch YouTube videos or scroll on Instagram for a bit too long or take the dog for a walk or make some food you know that kind of stuff um, yeah, one thing I'm really obsessed with, and hopefully you can tell by my drawings and illustrations, uh, is rhythm and flow, um, in, and balance, I guess, uh, in my drawings. I like, I like it when your eyes dance around, um, and follow swoopy shapes, um, and like do fun little U-turns around pointy shapes. It's just uh, the biggest joy for me when I can make something flow really nicely and balance itself out really nicely. That's, that's, that's great. That's really great for me. And I don't know if anyone else really does this, <laughs> Um, but sometimes when I'm drawing, especially when I'm being super scribbly and wibbly and wobbly, I will sometimes make up funny little sounds like shoo, boo, like as I'm like moving my pen around. Um, it's like a little roller coaster or like, or like swimming up and down inside waves. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so, uh... Oh look, we got to the end of the sketchbook, um, a little love note to myself at the end. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed that, um, got something out of it um, and thought my ramblings were interesting. October to July was a really big few months for me, so there are a lot of memories in this book. I'm going to miss him. Um, but I've got my new one, I've already started it, um, and I'm really enjoying the paper, I really like this book. And I might show it to you one day, we'll see. Um, but anyway, if you enjoyed this sketchbook tour, my first sketchbook tour, let me know. Um, thank you so much for being here with me. Okay, bye.